Hey everyone, so I just want to make a quick video about a trade that I'm about to potentially take as long as it actually forms up the correct way. So as you can see, I'm, I have my alarm set, which is this little yellow line here. It's about to break through that. So hypothetically, this is when I usually would come back to the table and say, okay, looks like the trade's about to happen um, because it's coming up to my zone up here for a potential retest. And as long as it pulls back, I can do an option put and actually do the play. So to let you show, let me show you exactly what this is supposed to look like anyway. So we have the major supply zone at the very top. Um, essentially saying, hey, this is the highest point of the day at this point in time on this specific day, right? At 448.83, it basically has a zone created here, came back over. It's already tapped it once on this five minute chart, ran down. Looks like this is that potential second tap. So I want it to run down again. So if I go to the one minute chart, um, let's see, I'll max my cell just so you can see it. So ideally I want it to almost basically do the same thing. Let me zoom back out. So this is where the zone formed, came around, tap again, boom, run down. Uh, it's coming over here. So it tapped it and potentially I want it to run down again. As long as it does that, then again, I will take the option to put and see basically where it is. See if I can at least get it one grand uh, minimum, I guess, off the trade and just go from there. So let's, let me zoom in a bit, choose the option put I want. I think I'm fine with that one actually. Yep. So I'll potentially do this put at the strike price of 447 right here. So 447 put for the um, this contract. So let's just see if this one minute is gonna actually come down and pull back. Kind of looks like it is essentially to a certain extent, right? It came up inside of the zone um, this candle so far is looking a little weak to a certain extent, right? It's a little bit higher if I zoom in for you It's higher than the one it was previously, but you can see that that friction of the one minute candle is coming a little bit smaller And we have another candle that's formed Maximizer. So this one's very small. So it's kind of signifying that this is getting weaker and weaker because it's coming into this zone So ideally what I want is right. So this one that one and then it's just starting for it to come back down. If it kind of does this pattern per se, then I'll go ahead and enter the option puts. Me betting the market will go down. If it doesn't, then I just don't take the play. But let's see what's gonna happen essentially. Delete that, whoops. Delete this little guy. So let's see what you're gonna do. It looks promising so far though. Zoom in a bit. Looks like it's pulling back or trying to again, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. As long as it shows pretty clear pullback, then I will definitely potentially sell at a potential take profit of about there. Hopefully it breaks through that and continues falling. But again, we'll see. So, so far from a pattern perspective, it's kind of interesting. So it kind of went up, tapped the zone right here, right? And it went sideways, followed by a red candle going sideways. And then this next green candle but it's basically sideways as well. Has a little bit of a stronger up push at the moment on the one minute um, candle in itself, but still somewhat of a decently side trending one minute price action kind of thing going on. Um, so hopefully it's diving more into this uh, red supply zone, major supply zone to get more orders that are pending there from hedge funds. So it can actually have a much more aggressive pull downward and I can actually enter the play uh, with that action as it is. But again, that's what I'm waiting on. So you can see it's it's interesting, right? I'm, I never jump into a play just because of one candle. Hypothetically, if I just jumped in because of this one, it just doesn't make any sense. I need actual price action to be somewhere down here because it gives me very clear indication to say, hey, this thing is going down. Um, I need to get in because it's showing me evidence that it's going down, which gives me evidence that it will be a, valu a valuable actual option put in the first place. So it's really just a big waiting game, honestly. I would have taken 
the earlier put over here. I wish I was here for that one. It was much cleaner, much nicer. You can see it went down to this thing, broke through it very nicely. Um, this was the original option put, but didn't take that one. I was just busy. It wasn't doing it. I was doing other stuff. Um, but this one looks like it wants to break down again, but I need things to break below this major supply zone, essentially. Uh, and it's having a little bit of trouble, but it's slowly, very slowly, coming down. So again, just the waiting game. If the market proves to me that it will work, then I'll take the play. If it doesn't prove to me that it can go down, I don't care. I'll not take the play at all. I need the market to prove to me it's worth it. Otherwise, I do not care. <laughs> at all. So, still the waiting game a bit. Move the mouse out of the way. Basically a doji at the moment from a candle perspective. Followed by a green candle, kind of going upward. So let's see what you're going to do. But again, same thing. So it's going to go giving like an uptrend. Kind of evening out at this point right here with these two candles at 14.10, 14.11. Followed by a little bit more of an uptrend to capture more uh, um, candle actual orders that are pending in here from, again, hedge funds kind of thing. Uh, Follow our red candle coming down slightly, this green candle, which is also coming down, if you see visually, from a green candle perspective, is actually this one's lower than the one over here. Um, if this one closes red and the next one close, starts red, then I will definitely take the play. Um, I guess I'll jump in at 100 contracts, because I'm feeling pretty confident on this one, if it can actually show me anything anyway. Um, and we'll see what it does. I need the next one to form, like, right. If it's doing this, I need you to just start doing that on the next candle. Potentially. And this will be red, obviously. Like that. Showing a very weak bounce. Would have jumped in, but again, this candle's a little small. And this is not forming outside of the zone, so I really don't kind of care at all. So again... I need this to form a little bit more. I need a candle, red candle, to form outside of the zone, followed by another candle to form, then boom, I'm jumping in. Otherwise, I could just trick me in this fly up. <laughs> and trust me, I really care about saving the money than just wasting it and letting it blow. So I want the cleanest move possible, otherwise I do not care. Still waiting, let's see. And see how that would have got you as an example if I did enter on this thing thinking it was coming down and then the follow one following one ran up that would have been annoying <clears throat> okay coming up through the zone almost breaking out oh and it's flying up really hard now okay so it's breaking out hmm now it's going to do one of two things. Either it's going to fall down aggressively as heck, or it's going to go up, come back down for a retest. That could potentially take an option call and then take it to the upside. Just really depends technically. But there's a play here somewhere. The zone's too valuable for it not to be. Hence, again, as mentioned, initial major supply zone retested in the first place over here at the 1300 hours. Excuse me. Um, followed by it actually you can see visually respecting it here to a certain extent but it's just having problems the reason it's having problems anyway right now is it seems like it's a little bit weak of a zone so there might be a play here might not at this point because it's already been what nine minutes or so but we'll see this is really it seems like it's last attempt for a push down basically the nice the interesting thing is that if you notice from like a low perspective, put it like that, from a low perspective, the candle started coming up, that kind of evened out here, came around, almost kind of tapped it, couldn't necessarily pass, uh, uh, run past this, came up again, tried to go up, boom, came down to this line again, had issues trying to uh, uh, get past this, again, bounced up, had issues getting past it, boom, bounced, bounced back up. So you can see each time it's having an issue just getting past this little line, per se, which is an agreement on the reverse side of things between the red sellers and green buyers saying, hey, it can't go lower than this at this point in time. As a result, 
Um, I really need, again, for this thing, I'll even move you actually, just an example perspective. I need this to follow like that. If it breaks below it, and then we get, I'll duplicate it, rectangle, and then we get this starting to form, like that, exactly right here, then I'll happily buy it, potentially at like this spot, as the option puts coming down, um, and then sell it down here. But it really wants to go upward. I want to put, that's what I really want. I don't think the market's going to give me what I want today, though. I might end up taking a call, but we will we'll see. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay, I'm actually going to change this to a call instead. Let's see what this guy's going to do. Because I like this, the fact that it technically from a reverse perspective. Okay. So I'm in at 1.34 on the option contracts right here at 100 contracts. And from a take profit perspective, it's already very close to my take profit. Let's see. Draw that over here. This is my take profit. It's already kind of flying, flown past that. And as promised, I'll just sell it at the 1K profit and call it a day. And done. Probably could have let it keep going at that point, but it doesn't matter. Make 1K a day, that's all you really need, guys. Simple as that. So to kind of recap very quickly on that little quick trade. So keep in mind how this was playing out. So I had a major supply zone over here, came down to VWAP. Um, so it came back to retest that major supply zone in the first place. So it tapped right here, then it ran down. I wanted it to basically tap this again for a continued rundown uh, down to this, this direction down here. But if we go back to the one minute chart here, maximize sell. Oh, auto zoom. You can see, zoom in. You can see it wouldn't necessarily give me exactly what I wanted, basically. So it was essentially... Boom, coming in here, went sideways, 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 could not get below this line here, essentially. Came up for an actually, essentially for an upward, followed by this for a downward, kind of bounce into the zone very quickly, followed by a run up here. And I simply, and you keep in mind, again, this is literally what I did. I entered here, exited kind of about right here, give or take, $4,000. So if you've seen any of my other videos, the question is literally this. If this move is a thousand dollars, you really don't need a huge move. Same concept. This is about the same, give or take, as this. So it would have also been that thousand dollar profit. But I'll leave it at that. So you make a quick one thousand uh, dollars from trading spy using my strategy. You can make money on the downside if you're waiting for the play to actually happen, or you can make money on the upside if you're waiting for the play to actually happen. Just keep it simple, guys.